the main stuff with the TV show that came out was the scene that people saw them filming. <laughs> yeah. With Tyson. <laughs> It was Tyson carrying Percy over his shoulder and Annabeth, like, looking mad and scared that he's doing that. Uh, it's so fun that we just read that book. Yeah. Because all of the scenes are, like, so well, like, in my head that, like, I'm like, I know exactly what scene this is. And that is yeah. so much fun <laughs> when they, uh, because I remember in the book, after they fight the, the angry Canadians, <laughs> and the school is like threatening to expel Percy, do something bad to Percy. Mm -hmm. but Tyson does just like pick him up and run out of the school. Yeah. And so the scene is so adorable because it's Tyson literally carrying yeah. Percy on his back. And I was just like, oh my God. And I'm like, yeah, if if I was his like older sibling, I also would just carry Percy around like that just to like try to protect him um but it was so funny to like just adorable because you know we love tyson yeah <laughs> to see him like that and the scene is basically annabeth comes up to him with her dagger and is like threatening him mm -hmm. and part of the scene that's fun that i of course liked is that you can tell that percy is yelling at her before he even gets down <laughs> yeah like you see like his hand come out and he's like stop stop what what are you doing yeah. and then you see and it's it's like a fun thing because you obviously can't hear what they're saying but like the body language of walker when he's talking to daniel or percy or tyson where he's obviously like calming him down and like being like all handleless and then when he turns to talk to annabeth he looks fucking pissed yeah. <laughs> when he's talking to her and i was just like <laughs> I love it so much <laughs> and it's just so fun to see that and especially because they did say that during this season that they would start um filming things more outside like they said they weren't going to film everything on the volume stage that's what it's called and so this scene would have been filmed on the volume stage and scenes like that was during the first season mm -hmm. so it's more fun that they're actually doing that so people get a chance to just like randomly walk by and see them filming. <laughs> the thing from that scene too, that just makes me laugh so hard is that t the their jacket. And so mm -hmm. in the scene, Tyson and Percy are both wearing the same jacket, but yeah. on Tyson, it's way too small. <laughs> like the sleeves like end like up here instead of down there, like it is on Percy and it's like really tight to like his skin and it doesn't look like he could like button up the jacket <laughs> and I'm just like that is so cute yeah <laughs> I just love anything to do with Tyson so I'm just so excited to see him do anything at all <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> same um... <laughs> it was just so cute to see I will never get over watching him just carry Walker around like that <laughs> yeah and um daniel the guy who's playing tyson i just like i really do want to give him a fair shot i know he's older than we all expected but i do want to give him a fair shot yeah and he was just from the things you can see in that scene he was doing a good job and everything and i know just from watching the trailer of the movie that you ended up watching the whole thing of mm -hmm. i know that it's he's he's like perfect for that sort of role yeah and like in the end i don't care if he's like older it was surprising in the moment but i honestly don't give a fuck as long as he's actually good at tyson and, and i don't think they would have given him the part if mm -hmm. he wasn't like the best person that they saw and yeah. it, it also you know helps that he's a huge percy jackson fan as well yeah like, that does help too it's just like you're you're gonna care a lot more about the part that you're playing when you're a fan of this instead of just somebody that's playing a part like you would anything else yeah we've seen that with the rest of the kids so far which like um rick said it during a recent interview where he's like these kids are now my head canon for mm -hmm. um, my own characters that i wrote mm -hmm. and like the chapters that we read tonight definitely exemplify that because like as i'm reading now i don't know about you but like yeah. everybody has been done justice it's just like i think i need to see tyson for it to fully sink in the same way mm -hmm.